Hello everyone, SuperX37 here. In today's video, we're going to be taking this LEGO Star Wars Stormtrooper mech set and we're going to be building a mock around it. But before we get started, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe down below for more as all your support is very much appreciated. So now let's get started. The first step of this process is going to be actually building up this set. So let's go ahead and do that now. This set overall was not bad at all to build. It was actually a pretty fast and pretty fun build, and I'm very surprised it came in three different bags. You got the torso and the minifigure in the first bag, then the legs in the second, and then the arms in the third. But overall, it did come together pretty nicely. Not a bad set, and definitely worth getting multiples of if you want to army build them. Now that I have it all built up, I will say this set is actually pretty good. I really like the arm design with the bulky shoulder and the little wrist thing. And I also really like the gun. It is a little stubby, but I think it works. Now, around the back, it does look kind of bad, so in the mock, I am going to try to hide the back as much as possible. But, yeah, now let's go ahead and get the mock built up, and then we'll add in the set. Alright, and here's a look at the mock that I designed based on this set. We have a little Imperial Supply Depot, with, obviously, our Stormtrooper mech over here plugged up with a cord. Uh, charging or refueling. Now we also have a couple of speeder bikes and we have the Grand Inquisitor and a parts trooper inspecting the base. And one thing I've done on this mock that I've never actually done on a mock before is add lights. You can see we added two uh, one by one cone pieces with yellow lights in them to indicate kind of runway lights. You can see I kind of mirrored them going down the runway with the yellow studs. And yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this came out. On the front of the mock, you can see we do have a little bit of grass bleeding in from the surrounding terrain and those awesome light cones that I got from Atlanta Brickco. I'll show you how they are powered uh, when we get around to the back of the mock. Then I use these Nexonite shield pieces to create the road, as well as some cheese slopes and yellow translucent uh, studs. And right out front, you can see we have the Grand Inquisitor and his Purge Trooper talking to an officer and two stormtroopers who presumably run the base, and the Grand Inquisitor is just here checking on them. Then over here, we have just some storage crates. These two big ones are actually from some Mega Constructs Halo sets. I really like those crates, and I think they look good in any Star Wars mock. Then we also have just three smaller crates just kind of uh, skewing around. And then over here on the right side, we have two Imperial speeder bikes, as well as a small control station in the back. Then we got a Stormtrooper back there and a Scout Trooper getting ready to get on his bike, as well as a Gonk Droid in the middle. Then we have this turret that just rotates around. It's a small little defense turret. And then in the center, we do have the little base area. And well, whenever we turn it around, we will show the interior of the base. But up top, you can see we do have an Imperial officer and an Imperial Gunner, just kind of manning the controls. And I do have the Stormtrooper mech connected with a little piece of flex tube, just leading up to this uh, canister of some kind, or some kind of battery. And then just some antennas at the top. So now let's turn it around and see what we got on the back side. This mock definitely doesn't display very well from the back, but you can see we do have just some storage area over here, as well as a small little control panel on the inside. And these two big black boxes here are actually the uh, switches for the lights. You can see we hit one, one of the lights turned off right there on the right side. Then if we hit the other, the other light turned off. So yeah, I was really happy to be able to implement those two bricks into the base. Then I also just kind of did another little corner of the grassy area back here just to make it a little bit more complete. Then if we turn the lights off, you can see those two uh, lights stand out a lot right there in the front of the mock. They're not showing up as good on camera, but they do uh, stand out quite a bit. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know down below what you thought of this mock and what your favorite part was. And also let me know what site you'd like to see a mock built around next. It doesn't have to be Star Wars, it can be any theme. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Supermerch37, signing off.